Hold on! Hold on, we're gonna get a shock load! Dealing with bad weather while at anchor is terrifying. It's extremely loud, with the wind howling through the rigging. The boat violently heels back and forth, making it difficult to do anything. And the worst case scenario is always in the back of our minds. When you're living on a sailboat, one day can be the best day of your life, and then the next day could potentially be one of the most stressful days <laughs> of your life. Now, if you're looking for sunshine and calm water, pleasant day sails, and a large variety of anchorages to choose from, you're going to need to sail in the summer in the Mediterranean. Sailing in the fall is a very different story. It feels a bit like playing a game of chess, with your opponent's pieces being massive low pressure systems, sudden thunderstorms, and a huge swell that seems to magically make its way into every anchorage. It is super windy out here! There are a thousand variables to consider, and we're always thinking three moves ahead. But perfect anchorages with 360 degree protection are extremely rare, so we need to choose our anchorages wisely. But the payoff for all this trouble is that we get to experience one of the most renowned cruising grounds in the world, basically all to ourselves. But the real question is, how much longer can we keep this up? Uh, okay, well, it's a bit of a rolly anchorage here, unfortunately. There's a good amount of swell getting inside, so I'm gonna set up the flopper stopper, hopefully give us a bit of a better night's sleep. Okay, cool. I can already feel a difference. Man, this is cool. I've not put the spreader lights on much on this boat, and it makes the water look beautiful. Look at that, though it's so clear. So far, other than the fact that it's a little rolly, I really like this anchorage. Sorry. This is Pori Bay on the island of Kofunisi. Kofunisi is known for its natural beauty and extremely clear water. But Pori Bay is famous amongst Greek sailors and fishermen as being one of the most protected anchorages in this part of the Cyclades. Now, our adventure in Greece began in the Ionian Islands, with their massive white cliffs and green hillsides and vast stretches of protected water. We were here in midsummer, and I don't think I've ever experienced such calm, stable, and predictable weather. We then traveled to the southern Peloponnese, if Greece were to have a Wild West, this would be it. This region felt as if John Ford decided to swap out Monument Valley for the Mediterranean in one of his films. We were lucky with the weather here as well, and even our passage around the Cape of Storms took place on a calm and pleasant day. Finally, we've spent the last couple weeks sailing in the Cyclades Islands. Although these islands lack the grandeur of the Ionian Islands, they also don't see nearly as many tourists, making this archipelago an ideal destination for true adventure seekers. And although we have finally begun to experience the ferocious weather that comes with the beginning of winter, today the sun is out, the air is warm, and the wind is light. So we're gonna do our best to make the most of it. Hope you don't mind having salty underwear. No, I'll take it. Man, today's just a chores day. This mattress in the quarter berth, I realize is kind of soaking wet the other day. I think it's because I overfilled this aft water tank when we were in the marina. So I started filling it with the hose and then just forgot to turn the hose off. And so I think there's an inspection port there that isn't sealed perfectly. And so when the tank overfills, it actually leaks. Now that we got a nice sunny day, I'm gonna put this outside. Okay, what's going on, bud? Getting ready to hop in. It's so pretty, the water's super clear. Got a really nice sandy bottom. So, gonna do some free diving and just enjoy this anchorage that we have all to ourselves. What you got there, bud? I found a dead, hollowed out sea urchin. I feel like that would be a good one for eating if you find another I one. I know, those. right? Well, that one's long gone. Isabella, look what your mom found you. Yeah, pretty neat.
It's been a long time since I've been spearfishing, and I decided to take advantage of the nice weather to see if I could find some dinner. The kayak is a very slow and laborious way to find a good spearfishing spot, but there's just something so much more fun about my little adventure mobile. Once I got in the water, I realized just how out of practice I am with spearfishing. I feel much more awkward in the water than I used to, and I'm not able to hold my breath nearly as long. And when I finally did find a pan-sized fish, I somehow completely missed it. That's what I get for not doing this more often. Now, although I didn't see any other fish worth shooting, I did see a ton of other cool stuff and I had a great time under the water. And on my way back, I was glad that I did take the kayak because I found a ton of super cool caves to explore. Well, didn't catch anything, bud. No fish for dinner, baby, sorry. <laughs> How's your day, man? Good, yeah, that swim was really rejuvenating. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm sleepy though. My body got really cold, so I went back in and had some tea and snuggled up with the baby. <sighs> well, I'm getting ready to make some dinner. Can you take the babies on a walk? Sure. You wanna go with you dad? You go for a walk, you baby? You wanna go with dad on an yeah. adventure? Yeah, little pretty baby. How about you, Oso? I know you're ready. <laughs> I've said it before and I'll say it again. I love my evening walks with Isa and Oso. It's such a great time for me to stretch my legs and to get to know the area around us. I love seeing Oso get to be a free dog and just go nuts. Oso, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. And I think Isabella likes the walks just as much as I do. Now I have missed seeing trees while we've been in the Aegean, but I think that these barren islands have some of the prettiest sunsets I've ever seen. That's crazy. I'm, I don't know how far away from the boat. It's way over there, can't even see it. And I can smell what Desiree's cooking because the boat's right up wind of me and there's nothing else up there. And it smells delicious. The next morning, we were underway at 4 a.m. to get an early start toward our next destination, Laros Marina. There was another huge storm on the way and this anchorage just wouldn't cut it. So once again, we were off to find protection from inbound weather. It feels like it's been so long since I've actually been able to help Jordan get underway in the morning. But Isabella is finally at an age where she'll sleep on her own. And although I don't love waking up at three in the morning, it is so liberating to be up this early without her. Being active without a baby in the cool night air almost feels like I'm getting away with something, like I'm staying up past my bedtime. All right, so it's just about six in the morning and uh, we are underway. When we left, there was no moon. And when there's no moon out at sea, it's so dark that you just see nothing but a couple of lights, you know? There's some lights ashore. You don't know if there are boats or not, you know? And so it's very disorientating. And then when your eyes get adjusted to that, the smallest amount of light on the horizon that's coming from the sunrise seems to illuminate everything. And so now there's some light on the horizon and suddenly I can see the horizon. I can make out the outlines of the islands. So yeah, I'm just enjoying the pre-dawn light. <laughs> she does not look very happy. Is that your baby also? Is that your baby? <laughs> He's like, that's right. We're moving. Come out of the other place. Land is back there. We need to turn around. We're, We're sailing, sailing, baby. We're sailing. We're sailing. Look at the sails. Now, when we first imagined sailing around the world, 
we thought that we would probably sleep really well on the boat. You know, we were imagining the rhythmic sound of the water lapping against the hull, the boat just slightly rocking back and forth. But in reality, rolly anchorages, the wind howling through the rigging, and the occasional rain squall can make it pretty difficult to get a good night's sleep while sailing. And that's why we really enjoy this week's sponsor, Beam. Beam makes a sleepy time hot chocolate called Dream that has been clinically shown to improve your sleep. Dream comes in a bunch of different flavors, but our favorite has now become this cinnamon cocoa. It's super good. It's full of ingredients that help us fall asleep quickly, as well as that help us to stay asleep on those nights where we would otherwise just be tossing and turning, which is important because adventures are so much better when you've had a good night's sleep. So now with the holidays coming up, don't let bad nights of sleep affect the time that you have with your friends and family. Click the link in the description below or scan this QR to get up to 40% off. Hi, Dad. Hi, baby. Hi, Dad. Oh. Man, I'm impressed by her because I'm seasick. Hmm. She hasn't thrown up yet. She seems to be in a good mood, so hopefully my seasickness gene didn't pass on to her. The destructor gene is in there, though, right, baby? So today it marks kind of a big moment in our experience in the Aegean, uh, and that is because we are finally saying goodbye to the Cyclades. It's been really nice this time of year. Right now it's getting to be late November, and we've had a lot of anchorages to ourselves. We haven't seen a lot of other boats. You know, we've had kind of nice weather, but the fact is that one storm after another has been rolling through for the past couple weeks. And so we'll kind of like run to a really good protected anchorage and then wait for a storm to pass over us. And then we'll take the one opportunity that we get to run to another anchorage and then we'll let a multi-day storm pass over us. And so what that's done is it's really limited the amount that we can move around and it's also limited the number of anchorages that we can visit because these storms will come and the really strong winds will kind of clock from multiple directions. And so we'll need an anchorage that has really good protection from like three different cardinal wind directions. And there's just not a lot of anchorages like that. So we need to start making our way to where we're gonna spend the winter in Turkey. So today we are heading to the island of Leros. We're gonna be spending the next couple days in Leros Marina to let another storm pass us by. And then here in about a week or so, I think we're gonna head on over to Turkey and head to our marina where we'll be for the winter. So our Cyclades adventure is over. We are entering the Dodecanese now. These islands are a little bit more dry, a little bit more arid, and a little bit more sparsely populated. So I'm excited to check out these islands briefly before we kind of call it quits and just give up for the winter. I think that's what's cool about our life though, you know? We get to like push hard, go, 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 see a lot, do things that we never even dreamed possible. And then once we get tired and cranky and burnt out, we get to kind of hunker down, hunker down and get some more work done on the boat. Yeah. Build you a crib. Yeah, we got a couple baby projects, that's for sure. Those are the dodecanes. You see them? Say hi. Okay, roger that. So I'll meet you at the entrance? Correct. Okay, very good. See you there. Thank you. You think that's the marina guy? I think so, yeah. Okay. Nice marina, man. Should I push off that boat? You're gonna No, you'll close. be all right. The Ving and Davids are getting a little close. After our early wake up and sailing all day, I was a bit fatigued. And as I was backing into the slip, the boat was drifting a little too close to our neighbor. So I decided to give a blast and forward to push the stern away. But somehow I got mixed up and I turned the wheel the wrong way, which pushed us even faster toward the other boat. We must have been only inches away when I finally corrected the mistake nice. and pushed the stern away. <laughs> So there's no damage done, but there's nothing quite like making a fool of yourself as a way to make an entrance. I see. Got confused there. <laughs> Throw me the line, I can take it by hand. Great. Thank you.
Isabella, are you happy to be in a marina? Hey, Stinker. She's been ignoring me a lot lately. <laughs> Isabella, where's Dad? She's like, Is that who? Dad? Dad who? There he is. There's Dad. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Not super interested. <laughs> Man, this is a sweet marina. This is the first time that we've been in like a really, really protected marina in a long time. I mean, we're only gonna be here for like, I think five days, but still, it just feels good. Like this weight is lifted off my shoulders whenever I just don't need to worry about the boat anymore. Mm -hmm. We're all in good mood. Such a pretty marina. Also got to stretch his legs. Dinner's ready. And I am exhausted, so I'm just gonna eat mm -hmm. and go to sleep. <laughs> I'm done. Right, Bozo? closed up bud? Yep. Woo, all right. Well, it is a very windy and now rainy day out there. Man, what's it gusting bud? Like 36. I'm so curious what it was gusting this morning because we were heeled over like we were sailing, but it's nice and cozy in here. What do you think, baby? Are you nice and cozy? Yeah. And outside, it is a different story. Oh my God. Hold on. Oh boy. It is wet and cold and very windy. Oh my gosh. What's it gusting now, bud? 42. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Woo, I'm happy we're in a marina right now. Woo, it is super windy out here. Woo, this is better, baby. You do not want to go out there. Did you catch up on sleep? Not really. I, I had to fiddle with lines last night till I was really happy with how the boat was sitting with all this wind. Yeah. But I mean, at least now I, yeah, whoa. Whoa, what is it? 40 knots. Crazy. Whoa, things are getting wet out there. <laughs> Do not go in We're anywhere. all closed in, I know. Good thing, I think we're we're all set with lines. So now we just gotta stay in here and let the boat go crazy. Okay, baby almost over the edge. Why do you want to go to the edge every time, huh? Are you a natural explorer? I kinda get giddy on days like this. It feels like a snow day. You know, school's canceled. We get to party on the boat, hang out, computer work, play. Cuddle. What do you think? Check, check, check. 